Hello and welcome to the seventh episode of the Untitled Podcast. I'm Elena. I'm Abigail. And we are here to talk about mostly Abby's man crushes. <laughs> and then we're going to talk about office pranks in Chapel Room. So I will go in order of the list. Put up list right now. There's the list. Yeah. So I'll be going in order. First on the uh, list <laughs> is uh, Gerard Way from My Chemical Romance, of course. He I is... don't feel the same that how you feel but about that, him. That's fine. I, I love him so much. And he's like <laughs> the most special thing I've, I think ever for me to me. The band as a whole is so awesome to me because if influence from literally every single alternative genre ever. Oh, and he wrote Umbrella Academy. Yes, he did. I have all those comics because I love Gerard Way. But the mix of punk from Frank Iero, who is their rhythm guitarist, and the mix of metal from Ray Toro, their other guitarist, and then Gerard Way's goth influence, mm -hmm. of course, making one of the best bands of all time. That might be controversial for <laughs> some of you to hear, but it had to be said. I love it so much. They're so genius. How do you get on a track and say, came a time when every star fall brought you to tears again and expect me not to fall in love with you? <laughs> so uh, second on the list is Joey jo Jordison. Ah! Woo! This is someone that Elena can agree on. I can definitely agree with get this on one. This. I, he, I just love his little hair. In his mask and, and <laughs> <laughs> how good he is on the drums and the... Uh, insert clip. Yeah, that's good. And I love not just him in Slipknot, but in Murder Dolls, which is his other band in 1976. Six, six. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next on the list is Eddie, Eddie Vedder. Vedder. Any better or Eddie Vedder? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. What just came over at me was a little scary. <laughs> oh my God. Eddie Vedder. There's really nothing more for me to say yeah, about it's, this guy. It's Eddie Vedder. Oh, Mike, Mike Star. Star! <laughs> uh, we love Mike Starr. Oh, MG. He's just... you. When you look at him... Probably one of the most gorgeous men I think <laughs> my, I've like, I, seen a picture of ever. I don't like, think I've I, ever seen anyone... When I first anyone... saw a picture of him, I was like, there's no way that he's in a band. There's no that way that he's a real. Model. Yeah. That's he's... AI. What are you talking <laughs> That's about? AI. Another beautiful man, Chris, Chris Cornell. Cornell. Jesus Christ. Okay. He's going California. He's feeling... Minnesota. Minnesota. And then this one you just have, because I haven't seen this movie yet. Yes. And we're about to see it tonight. <laughs> Um, or I'm about to see it tonight. David from Lost Boys. He's the head vampire. I have an obsession with vampires. I really love them. Um, As you can see um, in Gerard Way a little bit. Yes. He <laughs> does have some vampiric features being <laughs> pale skin and beady little eyes. Um, but this is more, this is an 80s take on vampires, which I, I love the 80s. I love vampires. What more could a girl ask for? Whose name's Abigail Miles <laughs> in the 17 and goes to Verona High School. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It just, he really does it for me. There's another character called Michael, who I think most, you'd probably, gra like, this generation will probably gravitate towards him more. Because David, it's a little hard to get into because his hair looks so stupid. <laughs> but there's something charming about him. Okay. You know, if you read things that might be fan fiction, it, it's charming. Like a girl I mean, named Abigail I Miles would never who goes do to Verona High School and is 17 does. I would never do that. But, like, I'm just saying that if, <laughs> if you were to... Oh, older brother from the Goonies. Uh, I think his, I forget his name. I don't care. I just remember <laughs> the fact that I had a crush on him. He's Thanos. Really? Yep. <laughs> oh. I had a really big crush on him. I think it was because. Do you also have a really big crush on Thanos? Yes. Um, okay. Orlando Bloom and Pirates of a Caribbean. And Legolas. I think he was the first time I ever realized that, that like you could be attracted to someone. I never felt that until <laughs> I saw Orlando Bloom as Legolas. I was like, whoa. He's just gorgeous. <laughs> Another man. Jeff Buckley. Buckley. Yeah. Yeah. His dad looks exactly like him. Yes. Tim. They look so similar, obviously, because they're related. He was a very beautiful man. Uh, with a very beautiful voice yes. and very beautiful lyrics. and Very beautiful sound. Just very beautiful just all around. Everything about him. This one, no one gets except I for don't, me. I don't get Maddie it. Maddie Healy, come on. I give, can't give get him on the Maddie Healy train. Give him a round of applause. Just one second while Abby finds the button. <laughs>
Thank you, Evan, for making that sound. Okay. Just Thank you, the gel. Feeling apathetic while you're scrolling through hell. I think I've got a, but I can't really tell. <laughs> I just think he is, my favorite album by the 1975 is, I like it when you sleep for you were so beautiful yet so unaware. That's, come on. I only it's really not like, about like, reciprocation. Like, it's just about me, sympathetic, pathetic, so, sopranic, junkie wannabe, and there's so much skin to see. I only really like two songs by the 1975. Do you like the Jesus Christ 2005 God Boss America? Yes. That's the one with Phoebe Bridgers. Uh, yes. That's I, a gorgeous I like that song. One, I like About You a little bit. I like the ending to About yeah. You. I don't really like the beginning. And then what, what was the other one that's like the most popular one? Uh, it's Not Living If It's Not With You. Yeah, yeah. that one. Jesus Christ 2005 is such a beautiful song. Oh, Searching for Planes in the Sea. Now that's irony. He's got some good lyrics. I could talk about him literally all day. I just, I, he's got some good lyrics. I just don't like the sound of his voice. I like, I can't get past it. It's like every time I he, can understand that. He it's talks a to little... me like, oh, next on the list. We can both agree on this one. Elijah Hewson. Elijah Hewson. Elijah Hewson. Elijah Hewson. <laughs> we saw Elijah Houston from in person. the distance of five people standing in front of us. Mm-hmm. It was amazing. It was actually three people, was, but, but from the distance of him on stage plus the three people, I'd say it's about five people. Probably the most gorgeous person I've like, Except for Mike Starr. But the, my eyes on. No, because he's never met Mike oh, yeah, Starr. Yeah, I was just. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> the most gorgeous person that we've seen in person. Yeah. Little it's humble Elijah, brag. It's Elijah Houston. I have seen Maddie Healy in person two times. So I'm at the Taylor Swift because he performed with Phoebe. Which yeah. I'll send you the video, but there's a video. I went, oh my God, that's Maddie Healy. <laughs> <laughs> There's that video I'll send it to you where I'm singing to the 1975. It's the robber song, and I sing, Now everybody's dead! And I like, <laughs> Now everybody's dead! God, I was and so. And the karma one. Karma is my boyfriend! friend! <laughs> I think this is one of the cutest things that me and you have done, like friendship. If I, I think down the road when I tell people about this, people are gonna be like, "Oh, that's actually so cute." <laughs> I remember I Facetime you when Graceland Two came on the Phoebe Bridgers because it's about yeah. friendship. Like you didn't tell me at the time, but it was like a hundred percent cutting out for you. Yeah, you it, see it said no connection. But it meant like so much to me that you called me. I was like crying. <laughs> I was like, I, I'm about to start crying just thinking about it now. Like I wish Elena was here instead. Bucky I, Barnes. Like, I, <laughs> <laughs> Bucky Barnes. I'm a little on this train, not as much as Abby. Like, I see it, but I don't feel it. Oh, well, I feel it. I... <laughs> Um, next one, everyone can, you guys have to get down with Liam Gallagher from Oasis. Oh, yes. Which is crazy because Joey Jordanson, like Slipknot, I don't think it was the full Slipknot. I think it was literally just his little, but he like hated Oasis. Like he'd be like, I hate Oasis. We're going to beat him up. And I'm like, you're five foot three. What are you going to do? Um, they're from Manchester. The 90s, he did. It was great. It was, it was amazing. I love his haircut. Yes, People I are do. starting to get his haircut on TikTok. We need to get back to the 90s boy haircuts. Okay. Yes, and the 90s boy eyeliner. <laughs> yes. Damon Olburn, you spelled his name wrong, oh. but that's fine. It's an I. I mean, it's an A. He is very gorgeous. Wow. To this day, he is amazing. And like musically, your first big band being Blur and then going off to make Gorillaz. He made all the Gorillaz music. He's amazing. Oh, wait. Uh, if I had to do the Blur and Oasis thing, I'd pick Pulp. Oh, yeah. I do love Oasis. I have a poster of them. I think I'm more of a fan of Oasis than Blur. You, when you got your wisdom teeth removed and you were crying to me about how you need Oasis to go back together. I wanted, yeah, I wanted Liam go and back, Noel. Go back, get back I together. I wanted Liam and Noel to forgive each other. Need, I was uh, three Nolan. years old when Oasis broke up. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 it stayed with me. <laughs> it has stayed with me. The next topic that we have is the office pranks, which I wanted to talk about because I want to start incorporating some of those pranks into my daily life. Like putting people's things in jello, filling a phone with nickels and then taking them all away so someone hits themselves in the face. I just, I think it's gonna be really funny. And it kind of, kind of. someone's desk in the bathroom. Yeah. Trying to add one key every single day to someone's. <laughs> <laughs> if you talked to me about The Office two years ago, I could tell you every single fact about The Office ever. Jolivet. I would watch it to sleep. So my dad downloaded every single season on this little thing and I plugged it up to my Xbox and I would just play it on repeat every single day. I'd sleep to it. I'd wake up and be playing <laughs> so i like knew a lot about the office have you seen the super fan episodes yeah 
I'm only in like mid season yeah. six right now. I will say everyone says that after Michael left, it wasn't good. I disagree. That weird in between when they were trying to find a boss was a little weird. But then once they started, there's I forget I'm forgetting her name. The redheaded woman, Nelly, that's her name. She was I think one of the funniest characters in the office. And the final topic of today's episode is Chapel Roan. We have successfully gotten tickets to go see her. We and Abby has. I spent money and got <laughs> tickets. To, to go see Chapel Run. And we are going to go see her May 23rd. May 23rd with in Browns Sam. Island with Sam. Shout out Sam. Whatever. And like the week before we're seeing Hosier. <laughs> I'm so excited. Or like two. It's the 17th and then May 23rd we're seeing Chapel. And then I am also getting to sound check a band that I really like. Mannequin P. Very, very fun. Very, very excited. I am filled with joy. My song of the episode is Hot To Go by Chapel Run. Uh, my song of the episode is I Don't Know You by Mannequin P. Yeah, we're getting rushed out. The cops are coming. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go. Bye. Bye.